Good morning, so today I'll be talking to you guys about Stable Diffusion Online. Uh, this is basically a chat GPT, but for uh, AI-generated images. Um, so what's interesting about this is that um, artists all over the world um, can create um, in-depth in -depth prompts to generate 100% um, um, random images. So for example, if I type in Superman, They'll come up uh, randomly generated images that artists have already created prompts for. So, for example, Matt Bomer Superman by uh, Sutomi Niki, highly detailed. So what this uh, app allows you to do is it allows you to create images um, based off of the genre and style. So as you can see, um, you know, highly detailed. A highly detailed piece of art. Uh, this one's more specific. Um, an epic fantasy comic book style portrait painting of Henry Cavill as Superman. Um, and what's interesting is, is that um, you yourself can actually go to the playground um, and enter a prompt. So Star Wars is the one I did. I'm not going to put any style or advantages options. Um, just for sake of time. Um Okay, so there actually is a big queue for this one. Um, so let me try one more time, actually. Um, so this one's going to take a little bit. I'm not going to waste your guys' time. Um, you know, sometimes it's it's uh, it's a little bit quicker. Um, it depends on the queue. Uh, this is this is the free version, so you can pay for a premium version. But yeah, I, I basically think of this as just a Chat GPT, but for uh, for images, you know, so if you want to be an artist and you're not super, uh, you know, artistic, I guess, um, this kind of allows you to just mess around with some concept art. Um, and what's interesting is that um, the AI is is smart enough to know um, to create like new art. So unless you go to the prompts that are already created, all the work that's created in the playground is 100% um, you know, authentic. So if you just want to go to the frequently asked questions, so uh, what was the stable diffusion model trained on? So the underlying data set for stable diffusion was the 2B English language label subset of Leon 5B. I have no idea what that means. Uh, I'm sure it's some sort of AI system. And then it just goes into the copyright um, uh, and legal stuff, like how, uh, you know, authors are protected, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I just thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, I wasn't, uh, I didn't want to do something like chat GPT. I wanted to switch it up a little bit and I just came across this. So I thought it was interesting.